in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Help me share this page and invite someone to this prayer altar. It is time to talk to God. Hallelujah. Turn with me to your Bible. God is saying something to someone here today. The book of Philippians chapter number one, and we will read Philippians chapter one, glory to Jesus. And it is in verse number six that God is talking to someone today. And based on the scripture, we are going to begin to pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible said, being confident of this very thing, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Wow will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He, I am confident in this one thing, that he that had begun a good work in you will perform it. Listen to me. He says, he will perform it. He had begun a good work. He will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Master, hear me, friend. God is too faithful. He's not just faithful. He is too faithful to fail. He is too faithful to disappoint any man. God is too faithful. He said that if we deny him, he will not deny himself. He has bound himself with his word. Child of God, he is too faithful to fail. Yes, God does not have any abandoned project. God does not bring a man to the middle of the road and suddenly leaves him alone. The Bible said that that which he had begun with you, that which he had begun in you, that which he had begun in your life, glory to God, glory to God. That which he had begun, he will perform, my God. Habashka, sisi atat. Hear me, friend. Let the devil not make you think that God have left you alone. God never leaves his own alone. In fact, the scripture said that he will leave the 99 that are saved to go after the one that is lost. Glory to Jesus. Wow, today I began to meditate on the maths of God, mathematics, maths, the way God solves maths. <laughs> and I got really, 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 really amazed. Truly, his ways are not our ways. You know, when we solve maths in school, it is usually one plus one is two. But God's maths says that one plus one is one. That is God's maths. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. God's maths say that one will chase a thousand and two will chase two thousand. My God. That is God's maths. No, he said one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand. Glory to God. C can you imagine that? If, you know, the strength of each man is the same and one man chases 1,000 and another man chases another 1,000, the simple math says that the two will chase 
2,000. But God's math says that one will chase a thousand, but two will chase 10,000. That is God's maths. <laughs> God's maths say that if I have 100 sheep and one goes missing, that is God's maths. He says he will leave the 99 that is safe and go looking for the one that is lost. That's God's maths. But the common sense maths will say, well, it is better I keep this 99 rather than lose all of them when I go after this one. Hear me, child of God. The ways of God are not our ways. He is too faithful to fail. He is too committed to leave you halfway. He is too loving, child of God he is. If he had begun a good work in you, if he has said he will do, child of God, he will watch over his word to perform. His word will not fall to the ground unfulfilled. I came to let you know today, even as we begin to pray, hey, God does not disappoint and he will not disappoint you. Hey, I came to let you know today that according to the maths of God, my God, you you will come into all that God has said you will come into. According to the maths of God, Jesus, Abrashatakaba, your harvest will not just be one plus one, two. <laughs> hey, according to God's maths, child of God, men will be amazed at the end of the day. The scripture says, he that began a good work in you will come perform it and i need you to see that word he will perform it <laughs> he will perform it until the day of jesus christ which day is the day of jesus christ he will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. The day of Jesus Christ, according to scripture, is the day he will be revealed again to the earth. It means that from now till Jesus comes again, God is so committed to your life. He is so committed to what he has said will happen in your life. He is so committed to his word in your life and he is working at it. Akapiti takapakata. He said he will perform it. He is a performer of his word. He is a performer in our lives. It is by his strength, it is by his ability that there will be an engineering and a coming to pass. Child of God, when we pray, we are actually demanding of God to perform. Yes. When we pray, we are actually telling God, putting him in remembrance of his word that he may perform. Hear me, friend. None of us have the ability to bring to pass what God has said. None of us have the ability to walk our lives unto fulfillment. None of us have the ability to make anything happen. Yes, no man has the ability to make anything happen. God will perform in your life. He said, we have this confidence. Yes, the six. Being confident of this very thing. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Being confident of this very thing. That he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Friend, God is too committed to fail. God is too committed to disappoint. Child of God, he will make happen for you that which he has declared. 
No wonder the Bible said that his word is like rain that falls upon the earth, that does not return void, but will water the earth and cause the earth to board and cause the earth to bring forth. So is his word. So is his promise. Child of God, he will never leave you halfway. Don't think that you'll be consumed. No, he will never leave you halfway. God will come true for you. I know it like I know my name. Hey, at the end of the day, you would look back and wonder how you came through. Oh, yes. Did it not say that if you pass through the fire, it will not kindle upon you? If you go through the flood waters, it will not overflow you? Listen to me. The Bible said he will not allow that which is greater than your strength to come to you. That even that which have come to you, through it he will make a way of escape. God is too committed to you. God is too committed to your life. God is too committed to his word that his word will fail. God is too committed to his word that his word will not be performed in your life. He is the performer of his word. He is the one who works his word, who works his promise, who works our lives unto fulfillment. Yes, he is the one. And I let br bring you God's word today to let you know that God have not given up on you. God have not given up. Yes, concerning your matters, concerning your heart desires, concerning those things you have called upon his name for. He has not left you alone. Rise up in faith today to knock at the door of heaven. Rise up in faith today, believing and knowing that this God is still walking behind the scene, knowing that this God is watching over his word to bring to pass in your life. He who began this good work in your life will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let your faith be pumped up as we pray today. Let your faith rise. Yes, child of God, let your faith rise. Ah, Akim Tishkabaras. Bless the name of the Lord. Come on, go ahead and give God thanks. Go ahead and give God praise. It is the hour of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Blessed be your name. Agreshikadasis. Mele pretete baribadiko shokobi lafas. Zinto soso preti nahaya edinege tekeski. Zuproto barali kapara dabadina santiska. Hey, master. Eni de 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 yete kepe. Lopro kodo supalia baradikoske petevas. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Igebelini do Sokoprosko, Zisata Parali, Bante Kubres. Child of God, bless the name of the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Emenetika Brososo, bless the name of the Lord your God. Hagadadadabarabadiadabasantes. Thank you, Father. Bless his name in worship. Thank you, Adonai. Begin to ask that the Spirit of God will enable you to pray today. Yes, that we will pray aright and not amiss, my God. Bless the name of the Lord and ask the Holy Spirit, enable me pray today. Help me, O oh God, to utter words of life, to utter words in faith, O oh God. Words unto the ears of God today. I will not pray amiss, my Father. Eginitokos kopeli draga suprene velene e krodoso so prete paradi egeso so melitine vandam dikom do suprepes. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. We will begin to pray today by looking at the scriptures. First Kings chapter 2 and verse number 4. First Kings chapter 2 verse 4. The Bible said that the Lord may continue his word, which he spake concerning me, saying, 
If thy children take heed to their way to walk before me in truth with all their hearts and with all their soul, they shall not fail of thee, said the Lord, a man on the throne of Israel, my God. The word of God concerning me, my God, the word of God concerning me. Caleb was speaking in the book of Joshua, chapter number 14 and verse 6. Caleb said in verse 6, my God, Allah para. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal. And Caleb, the son of Jephunim, or Jephunai, uh, the Kenazite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barna. The word of the Lord concerning me. Jesus speaking in the book of Luke chapter 24, glory to God. And in verse 44, Jesus said, Ah, these are the words which I spoke unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the laws of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Child of God, the point is this, that there is a word, there is a writing, there is something, there are matters concerning your life. God said that concerning you, what he has begun in you, he will perform until the day of Jesus. Glory. Therefore, you are going to pray and say, Lord, concerning me, perfect, perfect all things that concerns my life. Jesus said, it is written concerning me. Caleb said, the word of the Lord concerning me, my God. Open your mouth and pray. Hi, there is something about you. There are matters concerning your life. Open your mouth and talk to God about them. Are there matters of concern right now in your life? Can you bring them before the Lord? Yea, because he will perform the matters concerning you. Glory to Jesus. Open your mouth and ask the Lord. Yea, everything that concerns me, the matters that concern my life and my destiny. Yea, everything that pertains to my joy and to my fulfillment in life and ministry. My Father, attend unto them. Open your mouth and pray right now. Ask the Lord, perfect all that concerns me. Oh Lord, perfect all that concerns me. Every department of my life, everything that make for joy and for fulfillment in my life, oh God, to cause my life to be full and fulfilled, to cause my life to be full of joy. Child of God, please pray. The word of the Lord concerning me, the matters concerning me, oh God. Oh my Father, my father, attend to my matters. Hey, the CS secretary, attend to the matters. Oh God, that trouble my soul. Open your mouth and pray. Yeah, what are those matters that have troubled your soul? I Can you bring them to the master? Halido Poro. As the seteya tata, emeni te kabruku supaladi akapara the matters that trouble your soul. I ebidi kata kata ikoporone tai tai azati pani kolone entrasi si gavada bata yagadi prete te 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 yenge pete te te ikumini to solo brone vandaga. Oh Lord, I pray. As ne si ede tata igrebi di superule brugana sutana evembeliti ti kabraga shout. 
Je cherche Père et Kabala Vukupara. Et il go in my ita son de fatak. Petiliga tata. Discuss your matters with God now. Hey, Evlita. Discuss your matters with God. Those matters that concern you, those matters that have troubled your soul in recent times, can you bring them before the Lord? I the matters of your heart concern, the matters that have troubled your soul. Oh, child of God, talk to him about them. Yeah, bring them before the Lord. Emeneti ata kapuru soso parali batika batat venziti yade egubetuso penlu prapa taka pakati o brenge sisi fata benga legati yagadabadane my God I adore Saya ebelidi kapatune supreme verses a attack de sasa katak akumini to sokop la prapati ya barapati bakupa kata zepenti pakapatu venu me supele etik daropeti in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In Psalm 40, verse 7, the Bible said, Glory to Jesus. The, Psalm 40, verse 7, the scripture said, Then said I, Lo, I come, my God, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written. Of me. Lo, I come in the volume of book. It is written of me. Child of God, there is a writing concerning your life. There is a writing concerning your destiny. I need you to pray today. Call them to manifestation. Begin to demand of heaven. Let the writings concerning me. Let the things that are written in your books concerning my life, concerning my destiny. My father, may they manifest. I call them fought in the name of Jesus. Let the writings of my destiny, let the writings concerning my life on earth, oh God, that be parada, may they take hold of my day. Open your mouth and pray. May they take hold of my thoughts. May they take hold of my actions. I and inactions. My father, my father. That which you have written, that which you have scripted, oh God, into baza gati evgerisko paralidi de 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 ya da 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 igapini gosko te paravili gaba kutu paranga bana ya ta ya ta este sete pele de te gre igabada va igodo bete yeleti inkrono zozo manavadi ya bana gadi ya kete pele de ekre de susu paradiva lo bakuru de 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 eni mene itai sanga alo pra my God I call them forth I call them unto manifestation in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, let the writings, oh God, and the I call them forth. I call them unto manifestation. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Glory to God. In Ezekiel chapter number 37, the Bible said in verse 1, Ezekiel 37 and in verse 1, the scripture said, Hi, and the hand of the Lord was upon me. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, glory, and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. The hand of the Lord was upon me. And he carried me in the spirit and laid me in the valley that is full of bones. In the same Ezekiel chapter 40 and verse 1, the Bible said, In the fifth and twentieth year of our captivity, in the beginning of the year, in the 
tenth day of the month. In the fourteenth year after that, the city was sustained. In the self same day, the hand of the Lord was upon me and brought me Tida, I need you to pray one prayer for yourself today. Ask the Lord, let your hand be upon me for good. Let your hand be upon me for good. Let your hand be upon my children. Let your hand be upon my wife. Let your hand be upon my household. Let your hand be upon my business. Let your hand be upon my end devils open your mouth and ask the lord the hand of god can come upon a man hey and when the hand of god is upon a man the difference is clear begin to pray and ask the lord let your hand be upon me for good i my father Provalida Gadano Supret Varagapa, my God, Ede Etete, put your hand upon me, O God, and Motusu Priaga Levia Disca, a Betipete Pete, Brabadaza Gadia Velenit, Zubrocoto Porolo Pocuria Gadagadia de Bedede, and the Timinis of Sopra Tadaliada, my father, my father, Agatata Tapara, I beckon on you, dear Lord, let your hand be on me. I let your hand be upon my household. I agado bede beyagadi ikromo suli daba dada da epini gada kumetu supriyaga di veletet zempru katata imenuka para liko porono si patava emini days i katu paruga mosko. My father, my father, let your hand be upon us for good. Let your hand be upon me, O oh God. Hediti tata tata bara. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Glory to God. The Bible said in Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7, for as he thinketh in his heart, so he is. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Ask the Spirit of the Lord to brood on your mind. Ask the Spirit of the Lord to breathe upon your mind. Yes, to rework your mind. To rework your mindset, my God. The Bible said, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it come the issues of life. Open your mouth and say, Lord, Sit over me as the spirit of wisdom. Sit over me as the spirit of inspiration. Sit over me, O oh God. I parapakata, my father. He said to Abraham, lift up your eyes. For as far as your eyes can see. Hey, can you begin to pray and ask the Lord? Yeah, rework what I see. Hey, cause me to see aright. Cause me to see as far as you would have me see. Hey, the petepekara cause me to see possibilities, oh God, where you have said possibilities. My father, my father, Velo proko su kuparangeti yaga pili yaga dada. Imenete ke vesu kupata getusa. I prote rede ke te gede. I baraka paka tupari gabe gede. I molotono soko pidi yaga daga dayata. Apanete i vakumbri yaga dige de gede. E purgada gada badasaya. Sit over my mind, oh God. Hakuli tebe so komotava. I broko zinte ite ina adabadia baraka liko pokotosa. My father, my father. That I will see a right, oh God. Epe dubaru bada bada baya Iko peke teko peke daya gade gada Ipo le daga baku ya gaba gade ya vasata In the name of Jesus Christ We have prayed Glory to God I will ask you to share this page In the next three seconds Yes, go ahead and share this page Tell your friend, tell your brother Tell your sister, tell 
your colleagues uh, as you share. Pray with us. It is prayer hour. It is the time to talk to God. Uh, yea, he said, uh, he will perform. He that began a good work in us will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. He will bring to pass his word in your life. Glory to Jesus. Go ahead and share this page right now. Yes, thank you, Father. Glory to God. I give you praise. Blessed be your name. Hi, a bede kubaradu saparaliada, a crocopotoba soparandi patina zaya. I need you to pray right now and ask the Lord, let your glory radiate through me. Ah, the Bible said that Moses was with the Lord and the glory of the Lord was upon him and his face shone. Ask the Lord, yea, my father, let your glory radiate through me. Can you please pray that prayer, child of God? Let your glory be seen in my life. I katasakataya brother pete bendi so peleva dag ne zozo brodo bodo. I am a carrier of glory. I am a carrier of grace. Ah le pete besevet. Let it be manifest, my father. I am a carrier of grace. I am a carrier of glory. Agubidi katapata e pereli na bakumaru sokodo. Open your mouth and pray that prayer to the Lord. Es ne segede bedeya. Let your glory. Glory, O oh God, He be made manifest. It also predates of course. Yes, my Father. Yes, Lord, Your glory, Your glory. I pray as that are week. Your glory, O oh God. Agminito soko braba ba di teze zevegi abagadu bokosh sinte parati kladi kabra kasas zefete peredi kabanu kubanata ingom deti kutas zekabiri koroporokopo fikata patal. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. I need you to take this next prayer very seriously and pray it with every iota and muster of faith that you can gather. Please pray it. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse number 19. The Bible said, The Lord by wisdom had founded the earth. By understanding had he established the heavens. The Lord by wisdom and by understanding he founded the earth and established the heavens. In chapter 24 of Proverbs, verse 3, the Bible said, True wisdom, true wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. Verse 4, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. That is the word of God. Proverb. I want to read that scripture because you are going to pray very specific prayer in a moment. In Proverb 24, verse 3 and 4, the Bible said, True wisdom is a house or an house builded, and by understanding it is established, and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. What is the prayer you are going to pray? Strengthen my hand to build. Kai, pray this prayer, child of God. Strengthen my hand to build. Strengthen my hand to build. Yes. Strengthen my hand and give me wisdom to set up structures and systems. Give me wisdom to set up structures and systems that will become an ever flowing stream. That is a long prayer. Please pray it with all fervency. God, strengthen my hand to build, to build whatever to build homes, houses, my God, your hand will build. That project will be accomplished in your hand. 
pray this prayer. Give me wisdom to set up structures and systems that will become an ever-flowing stream, particularly of income. Open your mouth and pray this prayer. Hi, my father, Gadoshak. Wisdom, strength to build, oh God. Give to my hands strength to build. Yes, Lord, the ministry, oh God, that para wisdom to build, oh God. To set up structures and systems that will become an ever flowing stream. My father of income, of ministry, Ayanda Kaparapakata, my Lord, my father, Ade Kabakuta Pakata, you strengthen the hands of Solomon to build. Yeah, you strengthen the hands of Ezra to build. You strengthen the hands of Nehemiah to build. My father, strengthen our hands to build. The projects in the hands of your people will find a fulfillment, my God. It will be accomplished, my God. We will build companies. We will build industries. My father, Bara, let the entrepreneurs in the house receive wisdom, oh God. My father, my father, grant results to the effort of your people. I edeka. Tena kutsasaka ipelega bakarugi ziyoshata eveti bidi yata pati yaga misoko poto kopoko idipe ida ida sasata rati yada ibenge tika tida kumini koshoko balava ay my father agogo begende yati yati yaka takata ye wisdom to build aya pakata shata pata pakata strength oh god ibende begende yala pataka muni soto dada ibiedana vagadubi koroshika tata my father ye Iliti kata na saya ibede pete kemini te ku sakata aparalu peruga du sokoto ene vasante te pakadi vakata ya ibeti ya da 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 ya gada ika pende pende ya gada pende pende ya gada pende pende ya gada gada pende etro pende siko poko to poroga di tavala adine sete kati tavam pata I receive wisdom understanding and knowledge haya adadi ka pende 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 ti ya gada I receive wisdom understanding and knowledge my God, yate para give to my wife, oh God, hey, sesetetetea, give to my children this same wisdom. Abidikobani yamani kubakata. We will build structures. We will build systems. We will build industries. Glory to God. Yada bara pakata. Let the entrepreneur spirit wake up in us. Ibede kapaka tu bada. Yava du bada 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 diye gede gede gede. Etro basanti kapada. Yeah, harvest is coming, child of God. Harvest is coming. God must give you wisdom. God must give you wisdom. Pray, 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 pray now. And the, the, the harvest is coming, my God. Abundance is coming. You will not waste it. You will not be a waster. Open your mouth and pray. I will not be a waster, my father. My children will not be wasters. My wife shall not be a waster. Ah, to us up at Child of God, harvest is coming. And they get they get they yet the barapaka to be the yoko baragadiaza. Zante lete tete. We will build systems, oh God, by wisdom. Akasoto prakata pakata. Our hands will build. Ali tepeke to maruga veriga dabasata. Thank you, Adonai. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Glory to God. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. The Bible said, glory to Jesus, that the heavens will not be brass unto you, nor the earth iron. You are going to pray. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 23. Glory to Jesus. And thy heavens that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. This is God speaking to his people. It means that the heavens over a man can be brass, and the earth underneath the feet of that man can be iron. 
it is a possibility. God said so. Aha, glory to God. And in the book of Hosea, chapter number 2, verse 21 and 22, glory to Jesus. God was speaking. He said, in that day, I shall hear the heavens. It shall come to pass that I shall hear the heavens and the heavens shall hear the earth and the earth shall hear the corn and the wine and the oil and they shall hear Jezreel. Glory to God. The heaven hears, the earth hears. That's what the Bible just said. Glory. Open your mouth, therefore, and speak to your heavens. Open your mouth, therefore, and speak to your earth. Speak to the territory where you are, my God. The heavens will not become brass over you. The earth will not become iron underneath you. In the name of Jesus Christ, please pray, child of God. Speak to the heavens and speak to the earth. They shall align with God's word. They shall align to yield unto you, increase according to the word of the Lord, to bring unto you harvest in this season, according to the word of the Lord. Open your mouth and address the heavens and address the earth. Address the territory where thou art. Oh, glory. Speak to that territory to open up unto you. Let the treasures in the land open up unto you, my father. Let the treasures come in your mind. In that nation, in that country, Makube, the heavens will not be brass over us. The earth, oh God, will not be iron underneath us. My father, my father, never shall you be brass nor iron unto us. In the name of Jesus, begin to prophesy to yourself and everything about you to go forward now. In the name of Jesus, let there be advancement, let there be appreciation on every side. My God, go forward, open your mouth and pray. Yes, yes, yes. Everything about you goes forward. Exodus chapter 14 and verse number 15. He says, go forward. The parapa katapata. Begin to pray. Everything about me goes forward. Ayatatata. Let there be advancement on every side. Let there be advancement on every side hayate mdusu gumazum de sesevle sesevle parani gose kapetito otromosio burunada nabada bayagadada elebre yagadada diyadadada ibonaka patabadas sada parabada bayada ino bene toko proko soko paradia yeah my father thank you lord in the name of jesus christ we have prayed Glory to God. We want to ask the Lord, awake the army of the end time. Awake your soldiers in the now, my God. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse number 14. The Bible said, awake, awake. Awake, awake, thou that sleepest. Thank you, Jesus. Say, awake, thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead and Christ shall give you light. Can we ask the Lord, uh, send forth your army, my God, the end time army. Awake the end time army. Awake us, O oh God, from every nation of the earth. As the Sasata Parabadia Bakashaka. Yes, Lord. Joel chapter 2 from verse 4 described this army. An army that none will break their rank. Begin to pray and ask the Lord, pour your spirit upon your army. Yea, unveil the army, O oh God. I Gabadabadabayagadaya. Le brede besisi yata kabo kotopetiva sanati esem brede deya. My father, my father, the end time army, i.e. the army of the end time, the army of the Lord, my God.
Rod, Hagatuma Goshke de Bere de Badayasa, Rapepe de Viso, Scoporomo Bagadabada. Awake, awake the sleeping giants, my father. Hade Takatakataka Pataya. Awake the church, my God. Labarude Bede Bede. Your army of the hour. Adabadabada Bayagadabada. Iko Peregede Santi Sabatata. Awake, awake, my father. Bara by your spirit. Iko Peregede Yobriagade Gadebede Sansa. Anta di Epele da Guma Suda Brad. Varapakati Yobo Bedine de de de. Heketini Bazilo Fracapatara. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. In the book of Joel, he said, I will send the rain. Yes, I will send the rain. Glory to God. Joel chapter 2 and verse 23. He said, I will send the rain. Azata para, para badai katataya. Let's pray the Lord to send the rain, the rain of His Spirit. Glory to Jesus. The rain. Ayada bada badio komo sokote be He said, "Be glad, then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for He had given you the former rain." moderately he will cause to come down for you the rain aha the former and the latter rain in the first month can we ask the lord send rain the rain of your spirit upon the church send the rain of oh my god the rain of revival send rain oh god in our time my father my father yeah that the church be quickened send rain oh god send us rain oh god the rain of your spirit i my father chapter six and verse three he said and i will send rain i alu badakata send rain my god i petuka parapakatuya besos lebre pepekete we desire a move of your spirit in our time yeah an awakening and a reviver in the nations oh god i atupakapata in the church my father had the mene de 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 beki ubre de 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 bayatata ile petupa kuva kupara na bakanti ete mesa usavi edi la takamine in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Glory to God. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Father. Hey, let us supranabadadis. Open your mouth and ask the Lord to breathe upon the works of your hands. Ask the Lord to make perfect, to make good his word over your life in this season in the name of jesus thank you adonai thank you jesus make right your word O oh god yea bring to accomplishment bring to pass that our joy will be full glory to jesus thank you father go ahead and give him thanks bless the name of the lord who hears and answers prayers thank you father give him thanks give him praise he is worthy Glory to God Most High, the one who hears us, the one who answers prayers when we pray. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor, Master. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Mighty God, we thank you. Glory to Jesus. Wow. Thank you for joining me in the place of prayer today. The Lord keep you indeed and bless you. And may the answers to your prayers come to you speedily in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you and thank you indeed. I'll be here sometime tomorrow to pray. I look forward to seeing you on this altar of prayer. Thank you very much and God bless you. See you tomorrow. Don't be elsewhere.